Hello, this is Taiki again, and I'm back to present another problem, this time from the target round, target number two. So, two common fractions, each less than one, have denominators of 6 and 10. What is the smallest possible denominator of the product of these two fractions when the product is written as a common fraction? So, for this problem, we're going to let the fractions be written as a over 6 and then b over 10. So then when we multiply the two fractions, their product will be a times b over 6 times 10, which is 60. So <clears throat> the next thing we're given is that the two original fractions, a over 6 and b over 10, are both common fractions. That means that they must be fully simplified. In order for that to happen, we must have the greatest common divisor of a and 6 must equal 1. And the greatest common divisor of b and 10 must also equal 1. And we're also given that both fractions are less than 1, which means we can limit the possibilities of a and b to a lot fewer numbers. So a can equal 1. It cannot equal 2 because 2 and 6 would give 2. It cannot be 3 either because gray's common would be 3. It cannot be 4 either, but it can be 5. And for b, we can have 1, of course. We cannot have any even number because even number with 10 would give an even number, at least 2. And it cannot be 5 either because gray's common divisor of 5 and 10 would be 5, so we can list all the other odd numbers that are not equal to 5, though. So 3, 7, and 9 will all work as possibilities. Now we're just going to find the numbers of a and b that can divide 60 as much as possible. So in order for that to happen, well, we see that 60 contains factors of 2, 3, and 5 only as prime factors. So we're going to look for factors of a and b that are divisible by 2, 3, or 5. Clearly none of them are divisible by 2, but then we have 3 here, or 9, and we have 5 here. So it would be optimal, or it would be the best case scenario to let a equal 5, and b equal either 3 or 9. So if we do 3 times 5, for example, or 5 times 3 in either order, because it's commutative, and we divide by 60, then we get 15 over 60, which equals 1 over 4, so 4. Or if we decide to use 9, well, let's see, so 9 times 5 over 60 gives 45 over 60, which equals 3 over 4. So in either case, this denominator is going to equal 4, and this is our answer. Hi everybody, this is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.